Hi everybody, PJ here, and I've not wandered far today, I'm still in workshop, I'm on Clearlands Avenue, and we're at a company called Schultz. Now, uh, I didn't know a lot about this until I, I read them up on the internet. Now apparently they do uh, IBCs, so they manufacture IBCs, uh, and all sorts of things about them. Now an IBC, I'll show you in a minute, is a container for taking liquids and stuff uh, on a vehicle. Um, so they manufacture, recycle, uh, collect them, all sorts of things. And uh, it is a large company that's been running quite a while. So let's go and have a look. They don't just do IBCs, they do um, oil drums and all sorts of things like that. So let's have a look. As you can see, we've got some big silos there. I'm assuming they contain the plastics that's used for the manufacturing. How are you doing, that? I'm just doing a quick video, that's all, about oh. IBCs and oil drums and shorts and all that kind of stuff. Oh, what's that for? I do YouTube videos. Right. And I've got 30 odd thousand subscribers and I'm just trying to explain to people what IBCs are and how you recycle them and manufacture them and not just IBCs but oil drums and all sorts of stuff like that, you see. Right, I don't think they'd want to be you to be coming and taking videos, that's all. So if you just leave sight, you can do it from outside. Yeah, I'm yeah. not coming on sight, love. You are on sight. All right, okay. Yeah. All, all right. right. So what's in uh, in big silos then? Uh, I'm that... not giving you any information. I think you just ought to leave sight. All, all right. right. So I don't I'm know what you're doing, I'm what permission you've got or anything. So if you go outside gates, you can do what you want on public road. Yeah, I'm assuming it's plastics and stuff, is it? <laughs> uh, I will be sending a drone over in a bit, love. All right. So she's not keen, but she just works in transport office. So anyway, they're IBCs, look. They're in setting metal containers to make them nice and secure. And, uh, like I say, they do oil drums and stuff. So we will leave this part of the site and we'll have a walk down to the other section and see if we can see anything on there that's interesting. Okay, so we've got the uh, HGV entrance here. Is he backing out? I don't know what he's doing. We'll keep well clear of him anyway, just to make sure that we see. Ah, he's pulling forward, look. I think. As you can see here, lots of uh, IBCs, lots of uh, new wooden pallets. It is a very, very large site. They've got uh, they've got a warehouse full of them over there. I don't know what this fellow's doing at all. I ain't got a jar of glue. But um, he seems to be a bit lost.
He's going to end up jackknifing that if he's not careful. Yeah, let's go around. So as you can see, it is a busy yard. Yeah, there's a lot of trucks in here. Uh, WIT, that's a workshop company, Workshop Industrial Tippers. Right, let's have a, a wander up to the other gate, shall we? See if we can see anything up there. This is a tight entrance, this for truckers. This is a bit of a tight one. Right, anyway, let's have a wander up. So here we are at the other entrance. And uh, as you can see, there's a, a lot <laughs> of a lot of bloody IBCs here. And they look like they're extending as well. Looks like they're uh, putting a new building up. Yeah, definitely putting some uh, extensions up. They must be really, really busy at this place. They must be. I mean, look at all these IBCs down here. There's hundreds of the buggers. You alright, mate? How are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, under pressure, but bearing up. Just making videos, that's all. Ah, uh, just making a few videos. Any complaints? Or you what, sorry? Any complaints towards the project? Or? No, 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 I make YouTube videos, that. Oh, right, yeah. So this is uh, still Schultz, is it? And they're putting an extension on. Yeah, it's a big company, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, big company, yeah. Yeah, definitely. How long has this been going up? Uh, I'm not too sure. I've, I've only been here this week, so I'm just covering. All right. So what do you do here? Sorry? What do you do? I'm just, just a trainee. trainee you're, manager. You're a trainee what, sorry? Manager. Trainee manager, and your name's Jack. It is, yes. Ah, there you go. Is that so everybody knows your name, or is it in case you forget it, like I do? Just in case I forget it. So, <laughs> so what kind of manager are you then? Uh, site manager. Oh, you're a trainee site manager. Yeah. So you've been in construction a good while then? No, I'm only new to it, so... Oh, what did you do before this then? Oh, uh, next to the things farm and all sorts of bits and bobs. So. All right. So how's this going, all right? Yeah, it's going fine, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you can tell when you're an official site manager. Right. Well, your boots will be clean. You'll have a nice, clean, high-vis jacket. One day. One day, mate. One day. <laughs> so I'm going to get the drone out. A couple of things I need to be careful of. First of all, it is windy, to say the least. And the second thing is, uh, I'm about 400 metres out of controlled airspace for another Thorpe airfield so I'm not going to take the drone far I'm probably just going to run it along the front of this building here uh, and leave it at that I want to leave a couple of hundred meters buffer between us and Shire Oaks airfield uh, Netherthorpe airfield I should say just to make sure that uh, you know I don't encroach on their airspace so let's get the judge drone out and see what we can do. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so Schultz. Actually, I can't go too far forward. A, it is windy. And B, there is that uh, 
there is that airfield that's quite close by. So we're just going to have a bit of a run along the front here and uh, see if we can see anything. So this is a view along the front of the building. Look at all that bloody stock they've got in. Hell of a lot of stock. A lot of vehicles running around. It's a very, very uh, busy place. And if you're walking around here, you do need to keep your eyes open. Because these wagons, they, I'm afraid they don't take prisoners. They will, uh, they will squish you, I'm afraid. As you can see, look at all them there. Right, let's have a, a bit of a run along the front of the building. So there's those silos that we saw earlier on the other video. I'm going to take it up just a little bit higher. And if we look further down, you'll be able to see where they are doing more work to uh, extend the premises. Bring it this way a bit. So we're at the back of the offices now, and we're um, we're able to see down the back there and see what's going off. So we've got the staff car park coming up. Right, let's just uh, take it forward nice and steady and we'll have a look at this new uh, new bit of building work that's going up for them. The whole place really is stacked out with, uh, with equipment, with IBCs and things. It really is. Bring it this way a little bit. And that's a new building that they're putting up. Look at that, it goes all the way back. I didn't realise how big it was. And this is in my hometown. So, there you go, that's just a surprise to me. It really is. Oh look, there's a good looking fella. Okay, so let's fetch it down. And down she comes.
Landing. Landing. And that's it. We're down safe. Right, so that's Schultz. Hope you found it interesting. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe, and I will see you there in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.